So, I guess we can start. Um, thank you for joining this session. I'm Pavel Pavlak. I'm from F5, and I'm pleased to present you the, the, the fruit of the work uh, of the team who could, un could not, unfortunately, join us due to some travel restrictions. So I volunteered to, to, to be a, like a presenter, so don't, sh don't shoot the messenger. Uh, I'm, I, I, I really think that this topic is very interesting. Uh, and uh, I will be really pleased to, to give you this opportunity to, to take a look. Uh, there are some uh, materials, reference materials, if you want to go deeper into the details. And uh, I really encourage you to, to do so. And obviously the names of the, of the team that, that is working on this topic. So please don't hesitate to reach out uh, the folks. Uh, and yeah, you can contribute to this, uh, to this uh, problematic. So, a uh, brief look at the, uh, at the panelists, uh, so the creators of, of this presentation. So, we have uh, Henry Yu, Ahila Pandaram, Dong Wang, Kevin Tang, and Lei Shi, and Professor Chung Yang. I hope I pronounced uh, well. So, this is the core team that, that prepared this presentation. And uh, on the next slide, you can see the different uh, topics, areas of inter... Yes? Is your micro microphone working? I hope so, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> if I, yeah maybe if I get it upper, it's better now? Yeah, okay, okay, thank you. So we have like four, four technical topics. So first one, intent-driven closed-loop autonomous networks by Dr. Dong Wang from China Telecom. Second, cross-domain and, and cross-layer VPN uh, by Henry Yu from Huawei Technologies. End-to-end -end network slicing by Ahila Pandaram from Vipro. And last but not least, the academic progress on closed-loop autonomous networks by Professor Chung Ang Yang from Xidian University. <clears throat> and I will, I will share with you some more details uh, in, in upcoming slides on those topics. Uh, there, is, uh, there are some areas of the, uh, for the panel discussion that team prepared. And uh, on the last slides, there, there are the feedback for each, and every, each of those topics. Uh, obviously, as they are not present with us, they simply added their feedback on, on, on each slide so you can go through it and, and uh, yeah, you can, you can join the discussion uh, offline and, and ask the questions if, if relevant. So, first part of the presentation is focusing on the overviewing the intent-driven closed-loop autonomous networks uh, in ONAP. So uh, ONAP is, is pretty advanced in the, in the automation part. So I'm really happy that, that we have this example from ONAP uh, discussed here. And a uh, few, few words about the, what is the IBN, so intent-based networking. This allows you know, to, 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 you know, to, to control how the network would behave based on how you program it and so on. So we have a, some, some scheme here and yeah, you, the, the network can automatically react on, on something that happens, right? And there was already a presentation by uh, Ling Li, uh, I think yesterday about the IBN. So if you are interested in this topic, probably you join this session. So I will not cover it in the details because I'm not an expert here, right? Oops, okay. So moving forward. So this is really cool because we have the collaboration between the different teams, different people, right? So working on the same topic. Oops. Some. I will try to breath a little bit. <laughs> we have ONAP, obviously, which is the open source representative. We have the different standardization bodies, right? Uh, pretty known, uh, I will not mention here. We have also the academics, IEEE, so different, different te teams, uh, different roles, uh, working together on the autonomous um, network multi-SDO multi initiative, right? Here you can see the details of the requirements that were, that were defined under the ONAP. So um, th this is how we define in, in ONAP. We have uh, requirements per release, and you, you, you go through the requirements subcommittee, and th then you have the implementation part. Uh, you can see also there, is, there are some references to the architecture subcommittee. 
So this was uh, this was a topic discussed with uh, with uh, the team that is responsible for the architecture in ONAP, and you have also references to the ITUT uh, and Etsy uh, for for the for the outputs. Here you have uh, uh, the the general scheme of the different components from ONAP that take part of the of the um, interaction automation. You know. You have service orchestrator, you have uh, DCIE, SDNC, and so on. So uh, quite a lot of items must be part of this uh, ecosystem. Uh, on the next slide, you can see the uh, artificial intelligence and uh, machine learning uh, as part of this uh, ecosystem. Um, there are some features mentioned here uh, and also reference to the Acumos, so which is another project uh, from uh, Linux Foundation. Uh, I cannot tell you, unfortunately, too much details, uh, apart from the, the, the thing that, you know, based, based on the interaction of those components, you have this closed loop and uh, reaction of the, of, the, of the network on the mm, different uh, events. Uh, on the next slide, a team presented the the um, perspective from the almost beginning of the it's okay take your phone yeah it's easy. Uh, from the almost beginning of onap so starting from the beijing release uh, for the different different use cases uh, let me mention the end to end network slicing so you have three phases and in jakarta we have like com completion of the phase 3 which is the, the aiming modif modification of the slice uh, for the ccvpn why this this uh, okay for the for the display it's a little bit cut but uh, this is CCVPN and we have like for phase four close loop, close list line service inter intense support for the CCVPN integration with with IBN uh, and intent based networking presented here as a phase two is it readable from the from the end okay yeah okay great. So as you can see, this is like ongoing project for a long time already. A lot of efforts, probably, uh, and involvement from the different organizations to, to make things happening. And uh, yeah, this is interesting uh, uh, use case about the uh, lease line solution uh, with the cloud and uh, with IB, IBN and CCVPN collaboration spirit between those use cases. So this is the, the scheme here, uh, the network scheme with the OTN, OLT, so this is for the, for the uh, fiber access. Uh, and different uh, components that take, pl take place uh, in order to do the closed loop automation. Uh, we have also the Mm, those cloud cloud list line uh, service models with clo closed loop automation and uh, key solution characteristics. I will not read it, guys. Uh, those slides will be uploaded, so I let you uh, go through the details. Uh, uh, I think it's better to to do this way. Uh, here, the authors presented uh, the three cases for the ONAP and to end network slicing implementation. So first one is the uh, slice resource optimization, uh, followed by KPI adherence optimization, and last but not least, service experience optimization. Uh, you can have here some more, more details. I don't think uh, I, I would read it all, but uh, I, I, I let you uh, go through it, so we can do some short stop here. Uh, or alternatively, go through there, because on the next slide, you can see the intelligent analysis assist uh, in the slice KPI SLA guarantee. So we have those phases of data collection, analysis, and closed loop control, right? So this is a, uh, the order of how it works, uh, the, the inputs that are coming from the different um, blocks, uh, and exchange with the AI ML model here. Uh, for the KPI SLA prediction and, and the triggering part from the fulfillment monitoring to, to do the cha changes that would be performed by the closed loop. 
Uh, if we consider intelligent slicing KPI guarantee function, uh, you can see the different components from on-up that take place, starting from uh, service orchestrator, policy obviously for the closed loop, uh, and the DCIE for the, for the data collection, data lake, and so on. Uh, this, uh, the um, slice machine uh, learning model uh, with the additional historical data and, and big data, uh, data the big data database that are source for taking action. And uh, here authors um, presented also some more details about the status of the research. So obviously there is part for the academics, right? And uh, apparently there are not that many researchers in this area. Uh, as per open source, okay, uh, the conclusion is that ONAP is really es essential here. And uh, for the uh, standardization bodies, uh, at TM Forum, IETF, and FreeGPP. Uh, they have some references in the documentation, and on the one of the next slides, you will have uh, all the details in the reference uh, to the documents pro provided by those, by those standardiza standardization bodies, right? So uh, if this topic is, uh, is close to your heart, I let you uh, go through, through the details. But definitely, uh, there is a strong team working on it. So I think it would be also reach out, good to reach out them and, and, and uh, contribute to this uh, very interesting subject. So on the next slide, there is a next part of the reference documents, uh, documentation. So uh, obviously, the topic is very, very rich of uh, different documents and different standardization bodies that are handling it. So um, moving to the second part of the presentation. So uh, I will present your opinions from the, from the authors about those uh, five uh, different uh, topics. Normally, it's supposed to be discussion, uh, live discussion. But uh, unfortunately, as they cannot join us today, so as I mentioned before, they uh, provided their feedback uh, in in the slide directly. So about the autonomous networks, so all authors uh, agree that this is, uh, this is important trend. Uh, all operators are, are do going in this direction. And uh, yeah, closed loop uh, convergence is, is, is key here. Um, apparently, all of those uh, organizations are willing to contribute more to this topic. As per roles of closed loop, for the autonomous networks, again, uh, there is a significant gain if, if you remove human interaction, uh, source of potential, uh, you know, mistake or problems. Um, yeah, it's an important feature for the autonomous networks. So this is this. I think autos they, they share this point of view, and again they they, they will uh, contribute and work on it further. Mm, as per roles of intent driven. Uh, for autonomous networks, uh, I think that yeah, they they, uh, they share the view that uh, this is a key feature functionality that would uh, help in the fulfillment of an assurance of the user's intent. Mm, yeah, I don't know if I can add something more on 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 top of what is written here. Uh, if I go to the Next slide, the role of auto autonomous, <coughs> sorry, of uh, artificial intelligence uh, for autonomous networks. Yeah, this is uh, st directly st uh, mentioned that this is a key enabler. And uh, yeah, apparently AI is, is uh, one of the hot topics for the recent years. And also in this domain, uh, is uh, considered as a key feature for the next generation uh, networks. So probably no arguing with this statement. Um, if we consider the last uh, topic of the, of the discussion panel, panel discussion about the roadmap and advice of enhancing autonomous networks in ONAP, uh, yeah, I think that uh, authors appreciate ONAP uh, as, a, as a platform for the automation. And uh, 
Yeah. Uh, I think it is crucial for, for them that they have this, uh, this platform available for, for doing uh, their, their work and for the academics, uh, academics people to, to, to have this battlefield for checking out uh, new ideas and so on. So, in fact, this is the, this is, this is the end of the presentation. Uh, if you would have any questions, I would be more than happy to note them down or simply uh, contact, I, I would advise you to, to contact authors uh, or help you in contacting them because I have their emails in any case. So thank you for your attention. Uh, sorry for not being expert here, but uh, I think it, it was important to give a uh, team who, who spend a lot of time on this topic opportunity to at least show their, their outputs. So this could be a good baseline for the further exchanges and and uh, contributions maybe for, from some of you or your organizations. So thank you very much. I'm open for collecting questions. Probably not, <laughs> not able to answer, but, but at least collect. That's why it's the worst 30 minutes the power had. <laughs> 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 Trying to speak to somebody else. Yeah it's, yeah, it's not easy, especially if it's not your domain of, of major interest or, yeah. But I, I think that authors deserve to, to have opportunity to show their output. So I volunteer to, as being here to, to give this, this chance. So thank you very much, guys. I give you some extra time in your agenda for refreshments. And uh, yeah, see you around. Thank you. Thank you.